How's it going, everybody? It's been a while since I've done anything from home. Been busy. Uh, work's been really, really busy. And um, started keto, and so my energy was sort of not all there, but feeling good now. So while I've been away, I've been experimenting with a few things because uh, Santa Claus was very good to me this year. So Santa got me a crazy, obnoxious vlogging rig. And <laughs> well, here it is. I think it's the best rig I can think of to maximize this camera. So I'm using the Canon G7X Mark III. And at this point, it has been fully firmware updated, including the latest for 24 frames per second. Overall, I, I like it. It definitely has some limitations, but what I do love is the audio option to be able to use this external mic. And I realize it's kind of ironic that I'm having to use my iPhone to uh, film this, but how else could I do it? <laughs> so I'm using the Rode video mic. And one of the problems I had, so originally I was going to try to mount it on a cold shoe. And that was fine. It was very minimal. But the problem was when you had to switch it back and forth, you had to point it in the right direction. Otherwise, you're not going to hear the person who's behind the microphone. And that's sort of the point of it. And I got the, uh, this is the Joby, and it's actually an add-on for uh, this, this Joby uh, tripod, which I forget which one it is. It's definitely more than what is technically needed, but because I knew I was getting, getting this rig um, and having the, the mic and all that stuff, I thought, yeah, get the bigger one. I won't regret it. As, as I was saying, when we had the mic here, I couldn't really handle it. So, but this lets me, I can just twist it quickly in whatever direction I want. So I had this bright idea that, hey, if I had two microphones, I could have one facing one way, one facing the other, and then I could cover all the sounds, like front and back simultaneously. So that's when I got the Rode Wireless Go set up. And I used, uh, I had a cheap lav mic. This is actually, I, I had one I bought from Amazon and it's called the Yo Mic, and uh, don't get it. Like, this is the second one they sent me. It was for free, so they, they did try to make it right. Um, but honestly, after I got this one, I was so disappointed I didn't use it for a long time. So then I got this, and this is part of the pair that go with the Road Go. And I thought, okay, well, now's the time to bring this out again. And try it out but it's got the same problem there's this buzz that is in all the audio from this lav so unless I'm doing something wrong and someone you know put in the comments if you've got any advice but I think the best thing I could do is just invest in a better lav mic so I had a lot of video and it, the audio was so bad on it that I I kind of gave up on even trying to edit it so that's why there's been a big delay when I first set this up, I was like, aha, I'm gonna just split the audio. But the problem is, and I don't know why as well, it's one of the audios will be super low, and it's usually this one. This one seems to be fine, and I'm not sure, my theory is that this is powered. This actually has some something going on in there, and this is passive. So I think that's the issue. I'm or it could be, I don't know. I'm gonna try getting a splitter that turns one. So the one I was using combined the audio. So it's like if you're sharing headphones, but I wanna get one that splits. So I want one to be the right audio and one to be the left audio. And my theory is if I do that, I can adjust the gain on one channel to bring it up. And then on the other, just the same thing I can just adjust the gain for, for left and right and then maybe I can get it to balance that way that's a theory yet to be proven so again other than the fact that it's kind of obnoxious um, I really like this rig and this is a new UU rig that I got on Amazon and this is a more advanced rig I would say than the first one I had the first one just had a cold shoe this one has screw mounts all over the place cold shoe cold shoe 
mounts all over the bottom, a big grip. So it really helps out and it just gives you all these options to slide things around. The other one wouldn't allow this and that to be connected at the same time. So that was very limiting as well. So I'm glad I, I'm, uh, I'm happy with this, but having the guts to walk around pointing that at my face is a whole other story. So here I am on my rig with uh, just that Rode microphone. I'm not using the other one because I'm just gonna try this out for a while and see if I, maybe I'm gonna go back to this. There's certain occasions I'll use the wireless, but I think I'd rather have the lavalier. So I'm gonna wait till maybe I get a better one. Just a typical Saturday, we might do something today. I don't know, Shar didn't sleep well, so she slept in and, and uh, it's almost, it's 11.30 in the morning. We like to move slow on the weekends. I mean, that's what it's all about. Just gonna clean the kitchen and go from there. Sometimes just doing dishes is very calming. I, I actually enjoy it. So that's what I did. Cleaned up the kitchen. Now we're gonna decide what we're gonna do today. Well, I started editing some video after I cleaned up today and decided, nah, just stay home, work on video, and make supper. Michelle and Charmaine are away right now because Michelle's getting a haircut while so getting supper going. So I'll show you what I'm making. So in the Breville Smart Oven, I have a pork roast. It's a pork loin. It's like um, it's like the center cut of a pork chop, but it's been trimmed of the bone and it's just the roast. So I've got that going, 400 degrees. And over here, I'm frying up some garlic, onions, red onions and white onions, as well as some celery. And this is going to be cauliflower rice, fried rice. So this is a cauliflower rice you can get at Costco, or we get at Costco. I've just microwaved it first and it's pretty much ready to go in the pan as soon as everything's all, all done, ready for it. So I've been back on keto for about two weeks and I've lost about 14 pounds. So pretty par for the course. Um, still got a little bit more to go to drop the weight from Christmas, but it's coming off and I'll get back to where I was before and I'll get lower. Whenever I make this, I make sure I use sesame oil. Sesame oil just adds up a little bit of extra, more authentic flavor. I think that like you would get maybe at an Asian restaurant or Chinese restaurant. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to put in the egg. So I've just made a little circle here in the wok. I'm going to add a bit more of the sesame oil. Let's see how I do with one hand again. There we go. One. And two. And just mix it all in. Now in goes the cauliflower. Two bags of it. I'm gonna add a little bit of ground ginger. And give it a good stir. And a little bit of soy sauce. Actually quite a bit of soy sauce. Felt like it needed another egg. So you can see the roast is perfectly cooked. It took about an hour at 400 degrees. It's covered in 
garlic powder, onion powder, rosemary, mustard powder, kind of my own special little mixture, and I've stuffed it with chunks of garlic and jalapeno pepper. That's what those are. So each under each one of those is some garlic and, and a spicy pepper. Well, here it is, and I've tried a little bit of everything, and it is delicious. Check out the new lighting on the bar. It's those LEDs that you can change them to any different color. All right, I'll let you know what we think of Honeyland. It's now the next day because late at night and me do not get along and I love to fall asleep during the second feature. <laughs> Anyways, we watched Honeyland. It's a uh, nominated for an Academy Award. What did you think? I thought it was quite interesting, very cinematic, uh, something that we typically wouldn't watch, but it was quite, um, quite interesting. Yeah, I thought it was beautiful, it was sad, it was poignant, I mean it really shows that, you know, we worry about a lot of materialistic things um, in our world and I think we probably put too much emphasis on it and that movie just showed the simplicity of that life can be, the balance, just you know, to keep things in order. I, I'd highly recommend watching Honeyland. If you like movies, if you like film, like cinema, definitely check out Honeyland. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time from the Holy Moly. Bye-bye.